Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Quartet Lesson 9 Part 1 live stream. Tonight, we are covering Kurai ni chigai nai ta toshitemo noun nanka ittai plus a question word and sometimes ka and verb 1 ka verb 1 nai ka. These are the colors we use for every lesson. We have a light blue for our grammar points, and the other colors are for words that haven't shown up in Genki or Quartet yet, but that we would like to show you anyway. So they're going to be marked by these colors. The first section we're going to be covering tonight is to the extent that with could I? So, the sponsor Hi. for tonight is, of course, the members of Tokenia.com, the Patreon, and this YouTube. So, thank you for all of your support. It's because of people like you that we're able to continue doing this every single week. Let's go ahead and jump into, to the extent that, with Kurai. We've covered Kurai before in other lessons. I believe in Genki 1, actually, it popped up. It just means about, like, about this much. Very common word. It can also be... Uh, said as gudai, kudai or gudai, it's more of just a preference thing, whichever one you prefer to say. I usually go with gudai, but it depends on what the sentence is. Uh, this kudai, it's the same exact word, but its usage is slightly different. And this kudai's usage is to the extent that this, I did something else. So we'll see in the example sentences what that's all about. To use this could I, it's the same as any other could I, but the um, the verbs you're going to be using with are very specific. It's either going to be the dictionary form or te iru, I guess. Uh, negative short form or e adjectives on their own, no adjectives with a na particle and a noun on its own. Could I, okay? So could I can be used in a similar way to hodo, but could I is apparently a little less formal than hodo. Mm -mm. And there's also some idioms that use hodo that cannot be replaced with could I. Like, uh, shinu hodo tsukarete iru. Mm. You can't say shinu, shinu kudai tsukarete iru. Mm. You can't replace hodo in those situations. So there's some situations where you can't you can't use them both, specifically idioms that use one or the other. Mm. Um, but yeah, they are very similar with kudai being apparently a little less formal. So the first example sentence is, Bikkuri suru kudai. No moke desu. So the model boat, or this model boat, is so small that it's shocking. Or this model boat, if we were to go more literal, is small to the extent that it's shocking. This can also be translated as, you know, to the extent that is a bit wordy. So we will often translate this as so something that it's this. Uh, especially with um, with adjectives and stuff. This is not an adjective. Oh, well, well it's chisai, so that is an adjective. But anyway, bikkuri suru kudai means uh, to the extent that it's shocking. Chisai fune, small boat. No, moke. Moke is an M1 word that means a model. So it's a model boat. This, so the model boat is so small that it's shocking. Our next sentence is watashi wa hitsuyo nai mono o katte shimao kurai seiru ni yowai. So as for me, I'm weak towards sales to the extent I accidentally buy things I don't need. Now, this translation's a little weird. We would probably never say that it was actually accidental. But this te shamao, shimao is where that's coming from. Let's break the sentence down. We have watashi wa, so me, and I'm the topic. Hitsuyo nai mono, so things I don't need. Hitsuyo nai, don't need, mono, things. Things I don't need, wo, that's a direct object. Katte shimao. So I completely buy or I buy and I sort of regret it or I buy accidentally, something like that. Didn't intend to buy it, but I bought it anyway. Te shimao, right? Katte shimao. Kudai. So the, to the extent that I bought something I didn't want to buy, really. Seiru ni yowai. So I'm weak towards sales. That's something else we probably wouldn't say in English. I'm not sure of a better way to put it, but that's the literal translation. I decided to go with the literal one there. So I'm weak towards sales. So much to the extent that... I buy things I don't need accidentally all the time. All right, some more example sentences. We have Ashita no ensoku wa nemure nai kurai tanoshimi da. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow's field trip to the extent that I can't sleep. So Ashita no, so Ashita no ensoku, tomorrow's field trip. Ensoku is, yeah, it's just a field trip. That's all it means. Uh, wa, so that's a topic. Nemure nai kurai, so to the extent that I can't sleep or fall asleep, literally. Neru is to lay down or to sleep. Nemuru is to literally actually fall into sleep, like when you lose consciousness, that, that kind of situation. Nemure nai kurai, so to the extent that I can't fall asleep. Tanoshimi da. 
So you can see we have a negative here. Let's look at the other sentences. We had a verb in its uh, dictionary form, so suru. And here we also had a verb in its dictionary form, katte shimao. So it can still be in like the te shimao or te iru forms. Here we have a negative, nemure nai. Our next sentence is also a negative. It's sekaiju ni wa shinjirare nai kurai takusan no shurui no seibutsu ga imasu. So there are so many living things on earth that you can't believe it. Breaking this one down, we have sekaiju ni, so all over the world or in the world, wa ni wa. So that's emphasizing what comes next and making what comes before the topic, of course. Shinjirare nai kurai. So to the extent that I can't believe it. So that's from our question time. Takusan no shurui no seibutsu. So living things, uh, what we break down from here, right? Many varieties of living things. So living things, varieties, many. Takusan no shurui no seibutsu ga imasu. There are existing. So there are so many living things on earth that you can't believe it. Okaasan kara tabekire nai kurai yasai wo moraimashita. So, I received so many vegetables from my mother that I can't eat them all, or to the extent that I can't eat them all. Okaasan kara, so from mom, tabekire nai. Tabekire nai means finish eating. Tabekire nai kurai, so to the extent that I can't finish eating. Yasai wo, so yasai vegetables are the direct object of moraimashita, I received. Here we have an adjective finally. We have Guai ga waruku narisona kurai tairyo no shukudai ga aru. I received such a large amount of homework that I feel like I will become sick. So, this is an interesting one. We have guai ga waruku. Guai warui is to feel sick or feel bad. Guai ga waruku nariso. So, uh, become like I will become. Sick, yeah, like I will become sick, and that so can be treated like an adjective here. So we have na kurai. So to the extent that it's like I'll become sick, taidio no shukudai. So lots of homework. Taidio is a common word, it's apparently not on the JLPT, which is surprising to me. Ga aru. I received such a large amount of homework that I feel like I will become sick. Nadi so I seem it seems like I will become sick. We got one or two more. Here's a noun. We have petto no inu wa kazoku to onaji kurai taisetsu na sonzai desu. So as for pet dogs, they are important to the extent that they are the same as family. Breaking this one down, petto no inu wa. So the topic is a pet dog. Kazoku to onaji kurai. So to the extent that they're the same as family, taisetsu na sonzai desu. So taisetsu is important. An adjective and sonzai is existence. So, an existence so important, taisetsu na sonzai dis. And I translate this whole thing as as for pets, pet dogs, they're important to the extent that they're the same as family. You know, I don't have that、uh, sonzai in there anywhere in the English because they are an existence that is as, that is as important as the same as family. Would, going too literal there would be a bit confusing, I felt like. Here we have an e adjective. We have iki o suru no mo itai kurai soto ga samui desu. So it's so cold outside that it hurts to even breathe. Tonight here in Nagano, it's, it's pretty cold. I took the garbage out a little bit earlier and whew, it was rough. It's snowing quite a bit as well. But it's not as bad as some of my friends in Canada right now who are dealing with minus 30 degree Fahrenheit weather. That does not sound fun. I don't know if it's minus degree, 30 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Either way, it sounds terrible. Stay safe. Yeah, anyway, breaking it down, we have iki wo suru.、Uh, iki wo suru means to breathe. Iki wo suru. No mo, so that also. Itai kurai, so to the extent that it hurts, soto ga, so outside, that's the subject. Samui desu, it's cold. All right, that brings us to our conversation, which means we're going to bring Yuki onto the screen. And I'm A, and Yuki's B. Hi. And let's see what happens. We'll go slowly one time and then at full speed. And then we'll break it down. もう涙が出るくらい嬉しいぜ。まあ、大変だったね。運転免許の試験。本当だよ。昨日の夜、眠れないくらい緊張してた。そんなに緊張したんだ。マジで二度とやりたくない。はい、フォースピード。もう涙が出るくらい嬉しいぜ。まあ大変だったね運転免許の試験本当だよ
昨日の夜眠れないくらい緊張してたそんなに緊張したんだマジで二度とやりたくない Alright, breaking this one down, we have, you can just say, もう涙が出るくらい嬉しいぜ。So breaking it down, <laughs> もう already, not just already, but it's sort of an, em- an emphasizing もう just sort of emotional emphasis here. もう涙が出るくらい to the extent that tears will come out 嬉しいぜ。That ぜ is a very a masculine and sort of, well no, it's a masculine yo, very sort of rough yo,、uh, yo particle. So I'm so happy I could cry. Man, I've just I've translated the Zay as man or dude or something like that. That's one way you could put it. Then Yuki says, Well, it was tough, wasn't it? The driver's license test. So, ma, well, it was tough, wasn't it? That ne. Untenmenkyo, so driver's license, no shiken, the driver's license test. And then I say, Honto da yo, for real. 昨日の夜 last night, 眠れないくらい So, to the extent that I couldn't fall asleep, 緊張してた I was so nervous. そんなに緊張したんだ You were that nervous. そんなに So, to,、uh, that much, basically, that much. 緊張したんだ、uh, So, you were that nervous, and that んだ is like a sort of,、um, sort of surprised, like, hmm, wow, right?、Mm. マジで、seriously。二度とやりたくない。I never want to do it again. 二度と means、uh, never,、uh, not never. 二度と on its own doesn't mean never again. It, it, with a negative, it means never whatever that thing is again. So, 二度とやりたくない。I don't ever want to do it again. So, the question time is one more time. まるまるは信じられないくらい adjectives です。という形で。文章を作ってください。So please make a sentence in this format. Something, wa, the topic. 信じられないくらい。So to the extent you can't believe it, adjective this. So you're going to describe it.、Uh, for example, we have. E mail は信じられないくらい便利です。So e mail is so convenient, I can hardly believe it. Fax に比べて、ね。Compared to fax, yes. <laughs> ジョジョは信じられないくらい面白いです。So, ジョジョ、the anime, is so interesting or funny that I can hardly believe it or that I can't believe it. ジョジョは、that's the topic, 信じられないくらい。So, to the extent I can't believe it, 面白いです。So, you're going to make a sentence just like this, and it looks like we already have our first one from Violin Guy. There is no doubt that with ni chigai nai. Ni chigai nai. はい、OK、そう。日違いない。It is definitely the case that is another way you could translate this. It's going to be at the end of your sentences and you can attach it to verbs in their short form or e adjectives on their own, n o adjectives on their own. You need nothing between them because we already have that ni, right? And the noun with nothing in between it, ni chigai nai. So it is definitely the case that this noun. It is definitely the case that this n o adjective. It is definitely the case that this e adjective. It is definitely the case that. I did this, or you did this, or this will happen. Things like that, right? It's a fun little phrase. You're going to hear this one a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. If you're watching anything or reading anything, you're going to hear it all the time.、Uh, I don't know how much I hear it in conversation. A little bit, a little bit. But in, in,、uh, in reading material and stuff, all the time. All right, so let's get into the example sentences. We have. あのラーメン屋さんはいつも人が並んでいるからきっとおいしいに違いない。So that ramen shop, there are always people lining up outside. So, without a doubt, there's the nichigai nai. It is delicious. Breaking it down, we have ano ramen ya san. So that, that ramen shop, wa, that's the topic. Itsumo, all the time. Hito ga, so people, they're the subject. Narande iru, so they're lining up. There's people lining up、uh, at that ramen shop. So you're, you can assume outside of the ramen shop, right? <clears throat> so, kara. Kito. So, this kito is,、um, you're going to see it quite a bit actually with ni chigai nai. And it sort of has the same meaning of like no doubt.、Uh, so, what it does here is it sort of adds some emphasis to the ni chigai nai, even more emphasis. Like, I really believe this. So, kito oishi. So, it's delicious. Ni chigai nai. So, here's our e adjective. Oishi ni chigai nai. Without a doubt, it's delicious. Our next one is. C さんのお母さんは勉強に厳しいらしいから C さんの成績は良いに違いない
So apparently C's mother is very strict about studying. So there's no doubt that her grades are good. Yeah, okay, so C some. You'll notice I refer to C as just C, and then at the end I put her. Interesting thing here, two interesting things actually. So son is sort of gender neutral. You can use it for anyone. But in schools, in schools and in kindergartens as well, especially kindergartens, I guess, at least my principal used to tell us what we needed to refer to specifically during classes, girls as san and boys as kun. So boy, if you see kum and a, like a teacher or an adult is saying it, it's almost undoubtedly referring to a boy. San is sort of ambiguous, but in a school situation, especially for younger kids, uh, it's actually quite frequent to use san in reference to girls when in class. So I just went ahead and went with her here. Interesting side bit there. Si san no oka san. So si san's mom. Uh, since this isn't necessarily a teacher talking, once again, it's it's kind of ambiguous, but I just went with her anyway. Wa, so that's the topic. Benkyo ni, so in the direction of studying. Kibishi, so strict. Dashi, so apparently she's strict as in relation to studying. Si's mom. Kara, so si san no seiseki, so si's, si's grades. Wa yoi, are good. Nichigai nai, there's no doubt that her grades are good. On to more example sentences, we have an adjective here, it is Obaa-san wa brando mono ga suki da kara ano akai koto mo kokyu ni chigai nai I fixed this on the, uh, on the other slides. Obaa-san is aunt. Obaa-san wa my, my aunt likes brand goods. Brando mono ga suki da kara So, there is no doubt that, there's the nichigai nai Ano akai koto mo. So that red coat also. Kokyu ni, kokyu ni chigai nai. It's high quality without a doubt or really expensive. Oba san wa brando mono ga suki da kara. Ano akai koto mo, kokyu ni chigai nai. My aunt likes brand goods, so there's no doubt that the red coat is high quality. Sato san wa kyujitsu sae kaisha ni kuru kara. Soto shigoto ga suki ni chigai nai. Sato even comes to work on weekends, so there is no doubt that he likes work a lot. Or he's just overworked. Anyway, Sato san wa. So as for Sato san, kyujitsu sae. So even on week, uh, weekends or holidays, kaisha ni kuru. He comes to the company or to work. Kara, so. Soto. Uh, very much. Soto is a lot. Extremely. Shigoto ga suki. Likes work. Nichigai nai. There's no doubt. Ando bucho wa kibishi to yumei da kara kitto kowai hito nichigai nai. Ando department head is famous for being strict, so there's no doubt that he's a scary person. So ando bucho. Bucho. Uh, bucho, there's, there's not really a good title that matches bucho, I feel like, in Japanese, besides department head. And we don't refer to people by their name slash department head, so it sounds kind of weird in English to say that. Uh, but that's basically what you're saying in Japanese, so I put it here. Ando department head. Wa kibishi. So he's strict. To yume dakara. He's famous for being strict. Dakara. So kitto. There's that kitto again, so uh, very likely. Kowai hito. He's a scary person. Nichigai nai. So here's a noun being modified by nichigai nai. There's no doubt that he's a scary person. Bikun no kazoku wa sega takai kara. Bikun wa kitto sega takaku naru ni chigai nai. So B's family members are all tall. So he will definitely be tall as well. Bikun no kazoku. So B's family. Here we have a kun. So probably a guy or a younger boy. Wa sega takai. They're tall kara. So Bikun wa. So as for B, kitto, there's a kitto again, definitely, that's what that means, sega takaku naru, will become tall, nichigai nai, there's no doubt. So once again, that kitto just sort of emphasizes the nichigai nai even more. Konya wa gussuri to nemureru nichigai nai. Da to in da ke do. Um, nani ka hoka ni shinpai shite iru koto ga aru no? Ma... Asatte chainsaw menkyo no 
テストを受ける予定だねえなんでだってチェーンソーを使いたいなら免許いるんだよいやなんでチェーンソーを使いたいのよトースピード今夜はぐっすりと眠れるに違いないだといいんだけどうーん何か他に心配していることがあるのまあ、あさってチェーンソー免許のテストを受ける予定だねえ、なんでだってチェーンソーを使いたいなら免許いるんだよいや、なんでチェーンソーを使いたいのよなんでだろうな I reckon this one down B 君 B ちゃん said <笑>今夜はぐっすりと眠れるに違いない No doubt you'll be able to sleep soundly tonight So 今夜はぐっすり So uh Soundly, and this is usually in re- reference to sleep. Gusuri neru, gusuri nemuru, gusuri to nemuru, so able to sleep soundly. Nichi ga inai, there's no doubt. I said, Dato in da kedo, I hope so, but. Um, nani ka hoka ni shinpai shite iru koto ga aru no? Huh? Is there something else you're worried about? Um, nani ka, so something, hoka ni other, ni shinpai shite iru, so worried about. Or being worried about koto ga aru. Do you have something else that you're worried about? I said, ma, well, asatte, the day after tomorrow, chainsaw menkyo. So, chainsaw license. No testo, test. So, the chainsaw license test, wo, ukeru yote da ne. I'm planning to take it. You take tests. You ukeru, ukeru a test. Yote da ne. I have the plan to take the chainsaw test tomorrow. Eh, nande? Huh? Why? だって、だって、is because。チェーンソーを使いたいなら、so if you want to use a chainsaw, 免許いるんだよ。You need a license, you know? いや、なんでチェーンソーを使いたいのよ。No, I mean, why do you want to use a chainsaw? Why do you want to use a chainsaw?、Um, that's the thing. You need a chainsaw license in Japan. You're not allowed to use a chainsaw if you don't have a license for it. That was a shock to me. I, I, have a, I have a tree that was growing in my backyard that was like a sort of an invasive species tree, and I wanted to cut it down. It was between two walls,、uh, between the wall for the apartment next door and our, our garden. And it was going to knock our wall down, so I wanted to cut it down. It's like, okay, maybe I'll get a chainsaw. And it was like, you need a license for that. You can't just buy a chainsaw. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Imagine if you told Americans that you can't have a chainsaw unless you get a license. Oh my goodness. My grandfather would have had a fit. How about your country? Do you need a chainsaw for a license, guys? <laughs> the question time.、Nah. The question time, once again, it's a bit complicated if we just read it out. So instead, let's just go through the example sentences. So the first one was. So, Saiki Kusuo, that's his name, wa. コーヒーゼリーを見ているから。So he's always looking at coffee jelly. So, コーヒーゼリーが大好きに違いない。So he's, there's no doubt that he loves or likes coffee jelly. Next one is. ミカサはいつもエレンを追いかけているから。エレンが大好きに違いない。So ミカサ is always running after Ellen. もう追いかけている。Running after. から。So エレンが大好きに違いない。So he loves Ellen for sure, without a doubt. The next section is even if something were the case with たとしても。たとしても。And that たは is from the past tense of whatever we're, whatever we're using, whatever part of speech. For verbs, it'll be the short past tense. So たべたとしても。So even if I had eaten or had ate.、Uh, e adjective in the かった form. So たのしかった or if it was the negative たのしくなかったとしても even if it wasn't fun, right? even if it wasn't fun n adjectives and nouns you need だった plus としても so きらいだったとしても食べなきゃいけなかった so even if I hated it, I still had to eat it even if, yeah and nouns are the same so, first example sentence is 結婚したとしてもこの会社で働き続けたいです。So even if I were to get married, I want to continue to work at this company. So breaking it down, we have 結婚した。So got married としても。Even if I were to get married. Even if I were to get married. この会社。So this company で <clears throat>。So utilizing this company. 働き続けたい。I want to 
continue to work. This making it a little bit more, more polite. So even if I were to get married, I want to continue to work at this company. Ikura o kane ga atta to shite mo kaenai mono ga arimasu. No matter how much money you had, there are things you can't buy. Or no matter how much, how much money you have. I put in the past tense because it's in the past tense. But no matter how much money you have, there are things you can't buy. It sounds a little bit better in English, to be honest. But anyway, ikura. So how much? O kane ga. So money. And that's the subject. Atta. So have or had money. How much? Toshitemo. So no matter how much. So da toshitemo. Ta toshitemo. Can also be translated to no matter something something. So in this case, it's no matter how much money you had or have. Kaenai, so unable to buy, mono, things. So things you're unable to buy, ga arimas. There are things you're unable to buy. No matter how much money you have or had, there are things you can't buy. The next example sentence is Tatoe, seibutsu ga horobita to shitemo. Chikyu wa mawari tsuzukeru daro. Even if every living thing on earth went extinct, the earth would probably continue to spin. Forgot the period on the English, but that's, that's okay. That's a, that's a pretty dark sentence. But anyway, tatoe, tatoe in, at the beginning of a sentence like this is, is uh, marking the whole thing as just an example of like a, a hypothetical. It's not real thing. It's just a big hypothetical. Seibutsu, so living things. Ga horobiru is a, a verb, an N1 verb that means extinct or complete destruction. So, horobita to shitemo. So, even if every living thing on earth went extinct. Chikyu, that's the earth. Wa, that's a, and that's the topic of what's coming next and emphasizing what's coming next. Mawari tsuzukeru. So, continue to spin. Daro, probably continue to spin. <laughs> probably. YouTube de donna ni ramen no video wo mita to shitemo, onaka ga ip so no matter how much you've watched or watch ramen videos on YouTube, you won't become full, unfortunately. So YouTube, YouTube de, so utilizing YouTube, donna ni, no matter how many, ramen no video, ramen videos, wo, and that's a direct object of, mita, so watched, toshitemo, no matter how many, or even if, even if you were to watch many ramen videos, no matter how many. The reason I, I translated this one as no matter as opposed to even if you were to is because of this donnani, the donnani. Donnani means like um how much, no matter how much. And then the toshitemo emphasizes that a little bit even, even more. Donnani ramen no video mita toshitemo. Onaka ga ippai, so full ni narimasen, will not become. So no matter how much you watch ramen videos on YouTube, you won't become full. Unfortunately. Kodomo datta to shitemo yatte wa ikenai koto wo kibishiku oshieru beki da to omoimasu. Even if it was a child, I think you should strictly or strongly teach them about things they should not do. So, breaking this one down, we have kodomo datta to shitemo. So, here's our first noun. Kodomo datta. So, even if they were, for example, maybe someone did a bad thing and you didn't tell them they shouldn't do it. And you're saying, even if they were a child, I think you should teach people about the things they should and shouldn't do. Uh, kodomo datta to shitemo. Even if it was a child or they were a child, yatte wa ikenai koto, things you should not do or must not do, wo, direct object, kibishiku, so strictly or strongly, oshieru beki, you should teach, da to omoimasu, I think. I think you should teach strictly or strongly about things you shouldn't do, even if they're a child. That's a fun one to say. Say that three times fast. How was that? I don't know. Uh, even if what the teacher said was logical, I can't accept it. So what the teacher said. Ga, subject. How much? No matter how much. means logical. Datta to shitemo, even if what the teacher said was logical, or no matter how logical what the teacher said was, ukeire masen. I am unable, I can't accept it. Ikura yasukatta to shitemo, daremo kono shouhin mo kawanai ki ga shimasu. Even if this product was cheap, or no matter how cheap it was, I have a feeling that no one would buy it. Oh no. Ikura yasukatta, so no matter how much, cheap, no matter how cheap, so ikura yasukatta, no matter how how cheap, or even if it was 
however cheap. That's that's what the literal translation would sound a little bit more like, but it sounds a bit, of we bit weird like that, right? Daremo, so nobody with a negative. Kono shouhin, so this product. Wo, direct object, kawanai. Will not buy, nobody. Nobody will buy this product. Kigashimasu. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that nobody will buy this product, no matter how cheap it is. Uh, before, Yuki asked me uh, why I needed to use a chainsaw. So I said, Datte itsuka ki o kiritai hi ga kuru kamo. Ah, so ka. Ja, sore ga oatta ra tsui ni gussuri nemureru ni chigai nai. Ya, sono ato, shoujo gi no gi no shi menkyo o toru yo te. Naze?会社の野球チームの少女を作りたいから免許がいるんだよな。免許がなくて作ったとしてもなんか罰金がかかるの？わからんね。念のため取っといた方がいいかなと思ってさ。はい、フォースピード。だっていつか気を切りたい日が来る
So he didn't have a license. Tsukutta to shitemo. So this to shitemo is affecting both of those verbs because they're connected with the te form. So menkyo ga nakute tsukutta to shitemo. Even if you didn't have a license and made one. Nanka, something. Bakkin ga kakaru no. Would some kind of fine, bakkin is a common word that means a fine. Would there be some kind of fine? Would you be charged a fine? And I say, wakaran ne. And this is a very short, casual form of wakaranai. Ne. Wakaran ne. No idea eh. Nen no tame. Nen no tame means just in case. It's a fun word. If you don't know that yet, I feel like if you're at this point, you probably know this one. But if you don't, it's a fun one. Nen no tame, just in case. Tottoita hoga i. So, tottoita is the totte oita. Totte oita hoga i. But in conversation, totte oku is very frequently shortened to tottoku. And the conjugations of that are also shortened. So, tottoita hoga i. So I should get one in preparation for that situation, that inevitability. Kana, I guess. To omotte sa. To omotte ru. In this situation is I'm thinking I should do this thing. To omotte sa. And that sa is just sort of a, uh, it just yeah. does, eh. doesn't do much. <laughs> it's like a valley girl like in American English. Sa. It's like this like ah, that so, like so, so, there's so. no meaning for it so, it's just so. like a mm. it's just like a sound that pops out so. at the end of a sentence to add a so, little bit so. of a feeling to it so desne mm. hai all right question time we have toshi o totta to shitemo maru maru o shitai desu toyu katachi de bunshou o tsukutte kudasai so please make a sentence in this format even if i got older even if i were to get older i want to do this 年を取ったとしても運動を頑張りたいです。Even if I were to get older, I want to work hard exercising. 年を取ったとしてもスカートを履きたいです。Even if I were to get older, I want to wear skirts. スカートを履きたいです。So how about you? Even if you were to get older, はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
コンタクトにしたら、So why don't you stop wearing glasses and go for contact lenses? So, Quartet also mentions in a few other places that in many, many situations,、uh, most actually, なんかえんなんて are interchangeable. Or at least, なんて can be used in the same places that なんか、uh, can be used. You can usually replace なんか with なんて There are some situations, I believe, where you can't replace なんて with なんか Like when it's marking a whole sentence or something, a non nominalized sentence. I believe、uh, nanka doesn't quite work with that. We don't have any examples like that today because that's not what this is covering. But anyway,、uh, anywhere you could use nanka, you can generally replace it with nante. And they basically mean the same thing. So, megane nante yamete. So, why don't you stop wearing glasses? So, the person who thinks of glasses in a negative way, or maybe the person wearing the glasses hates them. Megane nante yamete. コンタクトにしたら、and go for contact lenses. Alright, on to the next example. We have 私が作ったものなんて誰でも作れますよ。Things that I make, or things like I make, anyone could make, honestly. So once again, this is marking it as sort of a negative. The person is, is being humble. It's actually, it's thinking of a negative. It sounds very negative, but what it's actually doing here is it's being a little bit humble about the things that. They're making the things like I make,、uh, those, that's nothing anyone could do. that It's just it's a very Japanese thing, just being humble about the things you're make, making. You don't want to be like super, super, super like, yeah, my things are awesome. Everything I make is amazing, guys. It's wonderful. You don't want to do that. Anyway, watashi ga tsukutta mono nante. So things like what I made, dare demo, anyone, tsukure mas yo, could make them, honestly. 100均で買うケーブルなんかすぐ壊れちゃうよ電気屋さんで買った方がいいと思う。Cables you buy at the 100 yen store break super fast, you know. I think it's better to buy them at an electronic store. Yeah, I wouldn't buy cables at a 100 yen store. Definitely wouldn't trust that. So, 100 yen. Did you know that this is the kanji that is used for 100 yen, a 100 yen store? I didn't actually know that until this lesson. So, 100 yen de. So, using a 100 yen store. Kao cable. So, a cable bought. Via or at a 100 yen store, nanka. So, this is marking that all sort of negatively. Something like a cable bought at a 100 yen store. Sugu kuare chao yo. It'll break immediately, right away. Denki ya san de. So, using a, an actual electronic store. Katta ho ga i to omo. You should buy one, or you were better off buying one at an actual electronic store, I think. So, kon no keyboard nanka, minak te mo. Typing できるようになった So I became able to type without looking at the computer's keyboard. Now, this nanka is clearly not being used in a negative way. And the confusing thing is that it can also be used when you're proud of something you've done, right? And you're, you're sort of bragging about it. So <laughs> it can be used negatively to be humble. And it can be used in this sort of positive way to brag, but it is the same word. So that's a little bit confusing, although from the context, it's obvious which one it is. Like with the other one saying, anyone could do this, this is nothing. It's clear without the nanka that it's being a little bit humble. And in this situation, it's clear that the person is not necessarily bragging, but just proud that they've become able to type without looking at the computer's keyboard. So, Pasokon no keyboard, nanka. This is clearly a jiman banashi, a, a, you know, a boasting or proud thing that they're talking about. So it can be used for both situations, which is a little bit confusing and not what was covered in Quartet. Quartet only covered the negative ones, but we wanted to show you these two usages because here's the next one, just so you know about them. The next one is apparent.、Uh, This blue shirt looks like it will look good on you, Eikun. Shall I buy it for your entrance ceremony? So we have Kono ao iro no shirts. So this blue shirt's nanka. Here's the nanka. Eikun ni. So for Eikun. Yoku ni yai so. It looks like it will look good on you. Very good. Dayo. Nyugaku shiki is the entrance ceremony for school. New g a k s h i k i o so for the entrance ceremony at school, ni kate oku, shall I buy it in preparation for that? Now, this nanka is being used sort of like a,、um, like a nado or marking it. Nado is one of the usages that nanka can also serve a purpose as.、Uh, this shirt, 
maybe among some other ones. It looks good on you, I think. So shall I buy it for the new Gakushiki? Uh, this is not covered in quartet. You're not going to have, if you're covering quartet, you're not going to have any exercises or anything like this one on there. But we just wanted to show it to you so you're aware that Nanka is used in some other situations as well, like Nado. So nanda ne. まあ、私も来月調理師免許を取る予定だね。調理師になるの?まあ、そうかも。あと、日本茶インストラクター免許も取る予定だね。日本茶インストラクター試験なんかあるの?あるよ。なければどうやって日本茶の作り方を他人に
So let's break this one down. We have asoko ni, so over there. Hito ga, so people, they're the subject. Atsumatte iru ne. There are people gathered. Aren't there? That's the ne, right? Ittai nani ga. So ittai, there's the what the heck. Nani ga, the nani ga is the what. So that's our WH word, our question word here. Ga, that's the subject. Arun daro ka. So aru is have. So what do you think is existing over there, essentially? Daroka is often going to be at the end of sentences that has ittai in a question word in it. Uh, and often, very frequently, we have the explanatory n before daro or desho or even just da. It's very, very common with this construction. But of course, the most important part here is the ittai and the nani. Those are always going to be there. Not the nani, but a question word of some sort. So, there are people gathered over there, aren't there? What the heck do you think it is? Our next sentence is Atarashi game wa dono mise ni mo oite inai. Ittai doko ni utte irun daro ka. So this one is The new game isn't available at any store. Where the heck do you think they're selling it? Breaking this one down, it's Atarashi game. So a new game wa, that's the topic and emphasizing what comes next. Dono mise ni mo, and with a location and ni mo, and then a negative, it means nowhere. So oite inai. It's not placed anywhere in any shop. Coming to our grammar point, ittai doko. Doko is our WH word, our question word here. It means where. Ittai doko. Where the heck or where on earth ni uteirun daroka. So we again have that explanatory, explanatory n and daroka. Uteirun daroka. Where on earth or where the heck are they selling it? And the reason I put here that what why do you, who and the reason that I put here where the heck do you think they are selling it, even though there's no reference to another person in this sentence, is because daroka is often emphasizing that something is a question, and generally there's going to be someone you're questioning. So you're asking someone where where are they selling this thing, or where do you think that they are selling this thing? So that's why there's a why do you uh, do you think in the English translation here? This one is kono uta wo kita koto ga aru. Ittai dare ga tsukutta uta nan daro. I've heard this song before. Who the heck wrote it again? Breaking this one down, we have Kono Uta. So this song, wo, it's the direct object of Kita Koto ga aru. I've had the experience of hearing this before. Literally just, I've heard this song before. Ittai dare. So who the heck ga? Tsukutta uta nan daro. So this sentence ends with a noun, or the whole uh, pr predicate ends with a noun. So we have tsukutta uta. So when you have a noun before daro, uh, and especially the n, the explanatory n da or n daro, we need to have na between the noun or an adjective too, uh, na between the n daro and the noun. So ittai dare ga tsukutta uta nan daro. Who the heck wrote it again? Or who the heck made this song? Who the heck is watering the flowers at school every day? Bring this one down, we have hana. So, the flowers at school, ni, in that direction. Ittai, you'll notice here that we have kanji for ittai, and that's because, well, there is kanji for ittai, and this is it. It's the number one, and the kanji for body. So, ittai dare. So, who the heck ga mainichi, every day, mizu wo. So to water flowers, you say mizu o yaru. Mizu o yatteirun daro is who is watering the flowers every day. Or who do you think is watering the flowers every day? Who the heck do you think is watering the flowers every day? Next example is anna ni yukkuri na namake mono wa ittai dou yatte ikinokotte kitan daro. So how the heck does a sloth that slow survive? That's a mouthful. So <laughs> breaking this one down, we have anna ni yukkuri. So that slow of a na namake mono, so there's a nana there, na namake mono, sloth that slow, wa, and that's the topic, ittai dou yatte, our question word here is dou, or dou yatte is how, how does it do something, how the heck, ikinokotte kita, so come to survive, ikinokotte kitan daro, how the heck does a sloth that slow survive? A good question. All right, let's jump into the dialogue. We have Daigetsu to Yeba. Dajio Taiso Shidosha Menkyo o Tori Tai na to omote iru. Oh, i ne. Dajio Taiso wa omoshiro yone. So da ne. Demo, it 
体どうやってラジオ体操指導者の試験の勉強すればいいんだろうそうだねわからないな。Alright, let's go full speed. We have 来月といえばラジオ体操指導者免許を取りたいなと思っている。おおいいね。ラジオ体操は面白いよね。そうだね。でも一体どうやってラジオ体操指導者の試験の勉強すればいいんだろうそうだね。わからないな。Alright, let's go ahead and break this down. We have 来月といえばラジオ体操指導者免許を取りたいなと思っている。So、speaking of next month, 来月といえば、ラジオ体操。ラジオ体操 is、it's radio aerobics and it's something that's been not popular, I guess, but it's part of Japanese culture. It's been a thing for a super, super long time. And basically what happens is in the morning, very early in the morning, an instructor comes on the radio and they tell you to do aerobics. They tell you how to do aerobics. They give instructions on how to do the aerobics. People will bring radios to like parks and schools and they'll get together. You'll see like old people out in parks doing radio taiso to this day. It's still a thing. People do it at home. It's a thing. You'll see it in anime a lot. You'll, you know, it pops up. It's a big part of the culture. So, radio taiso, right? Radio aerobics. Shidosha is an instructor. And of course, menkyo is a license. So, to be a radio taiso, a radio aerobics instructor, to be the person on the radio giving the instructions, you need a license. Because, of course, you do. を取りたいな。So, this is the I want to get that. And the na is adding some emotion and some emphasis to that. と思っている。I'm thinking that I really want to get the radio aerobics instructor license. Then Yuki says, Oh, いいね。ラジオ体操は面白いよね。Oh, that sounds good. Radio aerobics are fun, aren't they? Oh, いいね。That sounds fun. ラジオ体操 radio aerobics は面白いよね。They're fun, aren't they? Then I say, そうだね。でも、そう、agreed, but、一体どうやって、how the heck、一体どうやって、ラジオ体操指導者、so、radio aerobics instructor の試験、テスト、の勉強、studying, so、studying for a test for a radio, instru- radio aerobics instructor、すればいいんだろう、how are you supposed to or should you study for a radio aerobics instructor <laughs> test? Yuki says, そうだね。わからないな。True. I don't know, honestly. Which brings us to question time. We have. あなたの周りで不思議なことが起きています。まるまるが起きた。一体何がまるまるなんだろう。という文章を作ってください。So something strange has happened around you. You can make up this story, obviously, but something strange has happened around you. If you have something strange happened around you recently, you can use that as well. But anyway, the sentence we want you to make is something something が起きた So something that something that strange thing happened. 一体何が something something なんだろう So you want to use 一体何があったんだろう or something like that, right? You want to say what the heck happened or what the heck was that? Something like that. Like these example sentences here we have. 突然荷物が届いた。一体何が届いたんだろう So here is the something 起きた right? Something happened. 突然荷物が届いた。So suddenly a package was delivered. 一体何 So what the heck が届いたんだろう What the heck was delivered? I guess I didn't order anything and something was delivered suddenly. I wonder what it is.、Mm. Next one is. 先生に呼び出された。一体何が原因なんだろう So, I was called in by the teacher. I was called in by the teacher. 一体何が原因なんだろう So, 一体何 So, what the heck? が原因 is the cause or the reason for something. なんだろう That's a noun. So, it needs the na before the んだろうなんだろう Right? Okay, so how about you? Something strange happened around you, and we want you to tell us about it using this structure. Our next section is may or may not with verb one ka, verb one nai ka. Verb one ka, verb one nai ka can also mean hardly, hardly this thing or hardly finished some other thing. And we'll see what that's like in some of the example sentences. But first, there's about, there's two different kinds of verbs you may have to start out one of these sentences. You may have a verb in the present short form, so the dictionary form ka. Nai ka, so the, it'll always be in the short negative, the second, the second、uh, appearance of this verb. And you can also have the short past tense, verb one, ta, the short past tense, ka, and then the negative short form, ka. And that's going to be may or may not that verb, or hardly that verb. Our first example sentence is, Kyo, genkin ga tariru ka, tarinai ka, te kanji da kara, 
カードで払うね。Today I feel like I may or may not have enough cash, so I'll pay by card, okay? You could also translate this as I feel like I hardly have enough cash, or yeah, I hardly have enough cash, because Tariru is to have enough of something, or for there to be enough of something, and Tariru ka, Tarinai ka means may or may not be enough, or hardly enough. You're also going to connect a Tariru ka, Tarinai ka, or this, this gram, gram, grammar expression with the ka ka,、uh, to things like nouns very frequently. In this sentence, we are connecting it to kanji using the short te, the very casual te. So, te kanji. So, tariru ka, tarinai ka, te kanji. I have a feeling like I may or may not have enough cash. Genkin. Breaking it down completely, we have kyo, today, genkin, cash, ga, that's the subject. Tariru ka, tarinai ka, te kanji. So, feels like I may have enough or may not have enough. Dakara, so, kado de harao ne. So, I'll pay by card, okay? Our next sentence is, yuki de densha ga okurete iru. Kono mama da to. ようやくに間に合うか間に合わないかの時間になるから連絡をしておこう。The train is late due to snow, and at this rate, it's going to become a time where I may or may not be on time, so I'll call ahead. It would probably have been better for me to translate this one as It's going to become a time where I'll hardly be on time, or I'll hardly be on time, so I'm gonna call ahead. Breaking it down, we have yuki de, so because of snow. Densha ga, so the train, that's the subject of okurete iru. It is late. Kono mama da to, at this rate. Kono mama da to, at this rate, yoyaku ni, so towards my,、uh, my appointment, maniao ka, maniawa nai ka, no jikan. So, once again, I, may, I think I mentioned this a minute ago, but it's very frequent to connect this grammar point to a noun. Using the no particle. So it's the time when I'll hardly be on time. Manyao is to be on time. So it's that, that time that I will hardly be on time, or I may or may not be in time. Ni naru kara. So it's going to become a time where I'll hardly be on time. So, den naku shite oko. So let's call ahead or contact them in preparation for that. The te oku, right, is in preparation for something. So te oko. Let's go ahead and call them in preparation for that. Our next example is Shimata. Kino Sumaho no Juden Suru no Wasreta. Ato Sanju Pasentoka. Kyo wa Ichinichi Motsuka Motonaika Kurai Kana. Crap, I forgot to charge my smartphone yesterday. Just 30% left. Today, it's about enough where it may or may not last, I guess. Or where it hardly will last, I guess. It could be either of those translations here. So, shimatta, crap. Ino, yesterday, smaho no juden suru. So, juden suru is a common word that means to charge a battery or a phone or something. So, smaho no juden suru no wasureta. I forgot. So, juden suru no wasureta. This is a casual speaking to yourself, talking to yourself. So, you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily going to have all the particles in there when you're talking to yourself. So, the wo particle is dropped here. It would usually be kino smaho no juden suru no wo. Wasureta, but it's very casual talking to yourself. You're not using polite forms in every single particle when you're talking to yourself. But anyway, so I forgot to charge my smartphone yesterday. Ato sanju pasento ka. Just 30% left. Kyo wa, so today, that's the top topic. Ichi nichi, all day, or one day. Motsu ka, motanai ka, kurai. So kurai is very common with this grammar structure. It's not the kurai from earlier in this lesson, it's the about one. So it's about. That amount, there, there's usually something after this, a noun that comes after this. So, what this is dropping here is the motsu ka mots, motanai ka kurai no juden ga aru. So, we've already said juden, charge up above. So, we don't need to have it here. It's dropped. It's just it's implied here, but it is there, right? It's just being dropped. So, ichi nichi motsu ka motanai ka, that's the battery. Batteries hold a charge. So, motsu ka motanai ka. Could I? It's at that point or about that much where it'll hardly last the battery, the charge in the battery. Kana? Today it's about enough where it may or may not last, I guess, or it'll hardly last. All right, we're on the phone. We have a daughter and her mother. The daughter says, Moshi moshi. News de mita kedo. Jikka no tokoro wa kekko ame futte iru. Mom says, Mo yamuka yamanaika kurai ni ochitsuite kita yo. 
So the daughter says, hello, I saw on the news, but is it raining a lot in your home? And not my home, but like um, my, my family's home where I was born. That's what jikka is. Mom says, it's slowed down to the point where it may or may not stop, actually. So breaking it down, we have moshi moshi. That's how you say hello on the telephone, usually in a casual way. News day, so on the news. Mita kedo, I saw, but jikka no tokoro, at my family home, right? Where I grew up or where I was born. Va, that's the topic. Kekko, quite a bit. Ame futteru, is it raining? Ame ga futteru would be what you would normally say here, but once again, this is a casual conversation, so things like that are frequently dropped. Ame futteru, is it raining? Mom says, mo, already. Yamu ka yamanai ka kurai. Yamu ka yamanai ka kurai. So about hardly raining, really, is what this means. Hardly, just about to stop. It may or may not stop. It's at that point, just about at that point where it may or may not stop. So just a little bit is raining is what this is implying. Ni ochitsui tekita. And that ochitsui tekita really emphasizes that it's it's on the on the come down end of yamu ka yamanai ka. Yo, and that's telling her actually is how I translated it here. We've got another conversation between a mother and her son here. It's pretty long. Let's go through it. It's itoko no eikun wa kotoshi seijin shiki datte hayai ne. Saigo ni eikun ni atta no wa itsu dakke. And the son says so mother says, your cousin A, they have their coming of age ceremony this year, apparently. That was fast, eh? When did we last see A again? Son says, it was right around my graduation, I think. And it's literally, I think it was around when I was about to or had already graduated high school. So breaking this one down, we have, Itoko no A-kun wa? So, your cousin A, wa, and that's the topic, kotoshi, this year, seijin shiki. Seijin shiki is a coming of age ceremony, and many, possibly even most Japanese kids, when they hit 20, when they turn 20, they go to, they get up in like dressed up in kimonos and maybe suits, and they go to a special ceremony at a, maybe a community center or a shrine, and they have a coming of age ceremony called the seijin shiki. Seijin shiki. Datte. So there's the da that's just ending the sentence, and the te means that I've heard this somewhere. It's the to ite ita or so, kita, something like that. That's probably being implied here, but it just says I've heard it somewhere. I heard that your cousin A is having their coming of age ceremony this year. Hayai ne, it's fast, isn't it? Saigo ni, so last, e kun ni atta no wa, so when we last saw A, wa itsu dakke, when was it? And that ke, that small tsu na ke, implies that. She forgot. She forgets. When was it? Musuko says, Boku ga. So I'm the subject now. He's the subject now. Koko. So high school. Wo. Direct object of. Sotsugyo shitaka. Shinaika. So this is our first sentence, I think, with the past tense before the first ka. Sotsugyo shitaka. Shinaika no koro. So we have another noun here. Koro is one of the very common nouns that's used after here. It may be some type of amount of something or a time. Toki, jikan. Koro, things like that. So, sotsugyo shitaka shinai ka no koro, around when I was, I may or may not have already graduated high school. Uh, in the English, I just said right around my graduation is how I translated this, or I had hardly graduated, something like that, right? No koro datta to omo yo, I think it was around then. All right, this brings us to our final dialogue. I'll go first and read it slowly one time. Here we go. Ma. ラジオ まあ、今後あまり寝られなさそうだけど、頑張ってね。B いい養鶏場に勤められるかな。そうだといいね。まあ、今後あまり寝られなさそうだけど、頑張ってね。B さんも。All right, let's break that one down. We have ma well. 
ラジオ体操指導者免許は、そう、あ、ラジオアロビックスインストラクターライセンス、we talked about that in the last one。取れるか、取れないか、わからないけど、そう、whether or not。I can get it, or I may hardly be able to get it. I, I don't know whether I can get it or not. We don't know. But, どうしても no matter what, どうしてもの matter what, ひよこ鑑定士の免許 So, a license to be a just born chicken appraisal professional, a just born chicken appraisal license, and it's checking their sex, whether they're male or female, right after they're born. You need a license for that. It's a real job. It's probably a real job everywhere, but I don't know that you need a license in other countries. Special skill, this <laughs> yeah, Special skill. But you definitely need, a, definitely need a license for it here. And this A person apparently wants it. So, どうしても no matter what, ひよこ鑑定士の免許を取りたい I want to get that one. はい。すごいね。そんなのもあるんだね。Wow. There's even that kind of, of license is implied here, huh? So, go in, eh? Wow. So, na no mo. So, that kind mo arunda ne. There's even that kind, huh? And I say, mm, omoshiro so da kara toritai. Yeah, it seems interesting. Omoshiro so da kara. So, I want to get it. Toritai. So, rega areba. If I have that, e yoke jo. Yoke jo is a poultry farm. Ni tsutome da reru ka na. I wonder if I can get hired by a good poultry farm. Yuki says, So だといいね。まあ、今後あまり寝られなさそうだけど、頑張ってね。そうだといいね。I hope that's the case. え、まあ、well, 今後 from now on, あんまり not so much 寝られなさそうだけど、it looks like or it doesn't look like you can sleep much for a while. But, <laughs> 頑張ってね。Do your best, okay? And then I finish with B さんも You too. Question time. 何をできるかできないかくらいの量、時間、場所しかないですか Instead of explaining this one, we're actually going to look at an example sentence first because in this structure, this gives us a structure, but it's very hard to explain it in the way it is without a, a, a g u t a i t e k i a real realistic explanation. So let's look at the example sentence. はい。アニメをもう一話見れるか見れないかくらいの時間しかない。Okay, so we're gonna start from the end of this sentence. しかない means there's nothing but. しかない nothing but 時間 There's nothing but this amount of time. And how much is that an amount of time? Well, it's the アニメをもう一話 So one more episode of anime. 見れるか見れないかくらいの時間 It's about the time where I could hardly or just barely watch one more episode of anime. The next one is. もう一人座れるか座れないかくらいの場所しかない。So、starting from the end of this one again, しかない means there's、uh, nothing but 場所 So this place, and what is the place? もう一人座れるか座れないかくらい。About the amount of space, the place where、uh, maybe one more person could or could not sit, or a person could hardly sit. There's about a, as much enough space where one person may or may not be able to, to sit. Right? So, <laughs> we want you to make a sentence like this describing some place or some situation where you only have this much amount of time or you only have this much amount of space to put something somewhere or something like that. So, that's your challenge for this one. Thumbs up. Please smash the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, smash the thumbs down button. That's fine. But make sure you do it twice. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Channel 登録お願いします Please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we go live. Next time, We'll try to announce it in the Discord. Try to remember to do that next time as well. But thank you so much for hanging out tonight. We'll see you next time. Hi. Thank you. 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 We explain all the grammar from these books and more here on YouTube in detail. And on tokiniandy.com, we have tons of extra grammar explanations, interactive practice exercises with Yuki and I, native shadowing exercises so you can get practice speaking even when you're by yourself. Tests and even progress bars to track your progress through the book. We also plan on beginning to add tons of level appropriate immersion material throughout 2022. We even have a new exclusive community for members where they can ask questions, help each other, and even play silly Japanese word games. Over 1,800 people have already utilized the Tokini Andy and Yuki premium content. Join the community today and kickstart your Japanese learning journey. <laughs>